Welcome back to KJ's Kitchen 504. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for my future videos. Today we're gonna make mushroom onion Salisbury steak with homemade red potatoes, mashed meat red potatoes, and from scratch spinach. Let's do it. All right, today we're gonna start with doing the meat. So we're gonna take a little, I have two pounds of ground meat. I'm gonna take the Worcester sauce. I got two tablespoons of Worcester sauce. Pour that in there. You take some, you take one four cup of <clears throat> I just had a brain fart just now. So I got the breadcrumbs right here. I got one fourth cup of breadcrumbs. Let's do that, put that all up in there. Now I got a one fourth cup of parsley. Put that in there right quick, a little bit of that. We're gonna take a little bit and put it in there and we're gonna take a little bit and save, put it in the gravy. So keep that to the side right now. Now I'm gonna put a little, we we'll mix that up a little, put a little black pepper in. Let's see, we're gonna put about, let's say a half a teaspoon. A little garlic powder. Put a half a teaspoon. All right. Now we're gonna put a little ground mustard. McCormick ground mustard. Use a half of teaspoon. You don't put too much of that. You don't let it taste. It will be too bitter. So now you're gonna put a little sour cream in it for the softness. I put sour cream in it for the softness, and the meat is gonna be so tender for a little bit. Let's, I say about two tablespoons. One large egg. Crack that. Put it in there. Now we'll get the mixing. Mm, see that, that mixture right there? So, we take that. My hands are clean now. <laughs> mix this together. Mm. Be a mix master, you know what I'm saying? So, let's do this. And once we do it, once we finish with this, we go take the meat and we'll shape it into like oval shapes. So this probably make about, i say about eight of them. Eight nice sized ones. I mean, you could use as much as you want, as long as you like, I guess, double up on the seasoning to your liking. I like mine seasoned, so that's how it is. You know, from the N.O., so that's how we do it down there. So once we finish, all right, flip it. all the ingredients in there. So now we're gonna we'll put it in the skillet for about two minutes on each side and then we will take it out and put it to the side. And then we go start on our gravy. So let's do that. Put it in a little ovals. A little flat. No ovals. Kind of like that. Put them on a little plate right here. So I can transfer it over there to that nice cast iron hot skillet. And uh, make sure y'all every y'all stay safe. Y'all go out, make sure y'all wear y'all masks and be protected at all times. So we can try to get up over this. Yeah, and make sure y'all vote now. Make sure y'all vote. Because y'all vote sure, surely counts. Don't think it don't. Yeah. I don't got the 
Salisbury's. You don't have to be all perfect and everything, but you know, as long as you look like a hamburger patty, it don't matter, but as long as it tastes good. <laughs> Alright, let me put them in there now. I'll probably keep about four of them in here right here. You'll cook them in the, you'll cook them for two minutes on each side. And once it's finished, you'll take it out and keep the juice in there. You want that the, the fat that came off the and go. I'm gonna tell you everything else we have to do. Let that cook. Oh my God, this Ooh, smells so good. good. Oh Lord. All right, y'all. Let me go flip it. You wanna just sear it on each side. Look at it. See? Two minutes. That's all you need. Cause it's gonna cook. It's gonna cook more in when you put it in the gravy. So we're just trying to sear it just to make it so it won't be raw going in there. So. All right, and we'll put another two minutes. All right, y'all. We'll put these red potatoes in there right now. Let it cook. Keep the skin on there. You can do either or, you know, put the skin or whatever. I like to keep the skin on there. Put it on there and let it boil. It shouldn't take long to boil, so. What'd you put in your water? Well, I put salt and butter. That's what I do, because it makes it, you know, it picks up the seasoning and everything, so. And it softens to me. All right, y'all, now we're gonna do this. Put that lid on top of it. Get the popping, let's do it. That's the leftover fat that was from the uh, Salisbury steak. So, we'll take that, we're gonna add the mushrooms. Add the onion. We're gonna saute it down for about 10 minutes. Saute it down. We're gonna add a little black pepper to it. A little black pepper and a little all purpose seasoning. Say about a teaspoon. We're gonna saute this down now. We want it to get brown, you know, like a kind of a golden brown a little bit. Not burnt, but golden brown. So we're going to have this, mix this up in that. And take about 10 minutes. Okay, give it about 10 minutes. We'll come back to it. So look how it's looking right there. Looking sexy right there. Now we're going to add The two, two cloves of garlic, I minced them. So add that on to it right there. Let that cook for about, I say about a minute. Kind of mix that up a little bit in there. And once you once you finish with that, we go add the flour and we're gonna add one cup of beef broth. So we're gonna let that cook for one minute. This right here. I, don't know, I had to switch it over to another pan because I have so much meat. And I know it wasn't going to fit in that little bitty ass skillet, skillet. So now we're going to add the flour. I have a half a cup of flour. I'm making my gravy now. So we're going to do that. Let's stir this in a little bit. Now we're going to add. One cup of beef broth, low sodium. You can use regular, I just use low sodium to make that gravy, that nice, delicious gravy. Let it, yeah. Give it a second. I added one tablespoon of butter. I want to mix it up. It's kind of gonna be like a little clunky a little bit right here. But once you add the rest of the beef stock, I add two, two more cups of beef stock. Should be just right on the money. We'll add a half a teaspoon of salt. A little pepper. 
go ahead and take two. And we're going to add a little Zatarain's garlic herb. Mmm. Out of that. Let's say about a teaspoon. And once we do that, we're going to add two cups of beef broth, the rest of it. Now you kind of whisk it in there to make our gravy, y'all. All right, let's get this popping now. Stir it in. Make sure you incorporate it. You'll keep whisking it because you don't want it to get clumpy. Mm. Give it time, y'all. Y'all go see it brown up. All right, y'all. This we go do. Take the red potatoes right here. See, took them out. Mm. All right, now we go smash them up a little bit. Well, I'm gonna cut them a little bit so they can smash a little easier. That's it. I'm gonna get them like this. I'm gonna add some milk and butter to it. Kind of get them creamed up. I'm gonna add a little bacon and a little parsley. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do that. And once I do that, oh sure. Alright. Add that, but oh, see that? That's the gravy right there, y'all. That's the gravy. Mmm. That's sexy gravy right here, y'all. That's steak gravy. Mmm. Now we're gonna put some Salisbury steaks in there too, so it's coming up. So now I'm gonna finish this up. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of milk, add some butter, let's see about a, two tablespoons of butter, from there, I'm going to um, add some parsley, a little bit. Not too much, you won't overwhelm it. Tastes like number parsley. Add a little bacon bits. All right, a little bit. And I'm gonna add a little green onion, a little bit. All right, let's mix this bad boy up. Mm -hmm. This will be good right here. Nice red potatoes. I think the red potatoes are better than the regular potatoes to me, but you know you have your preference. Now we add a little black pepper. A little black pepper in there. You know, for a little seasoning. You don't want it to be all bland and stuff. You know, add that a little bit. And you add a little. All purpose seasoning. A little bit. All right, let me mix this up. Oh, and make sure y'all, y'all want to taste that coldest water bottle right there? See, it's looking nice and beautiful, huh? Make sure y'all hit that bio at the bottom of the link to check it out. You have to get one of those bottles there to be good. Yeah, it's in the description now. So, just check it out after you watch the video. And use promo code Khalil so you can get yeah. your 10% off. Make sure you use that promo code Khalil. You get that 10% off. Putting the meat in there now. So it can soak in there. Mm. Absorb all that flavor that I have in this gravy. So. Mm -hmm. Wish y'all to taste this. I know it's gonna be sexy and it's tender. Mm. Tender as hell. So, putting all the meat in there. Just add a little. All right, y'all. So now we'll put a little gravy on it. Let it cook. About, it's about 15 minutes and that's it.
let them get buried in it, see? <laughs> Put that gravy on top of it. Mm. Want to smother it. Mm. Want me to spinach? Add a little butter. Add a little, little bacon bits, a little bit. And just let that saute a little bit. Once that saute is melt down, then we'll add our spinach. Add a little black pepper. Then we'll add a little your preference, you want a little season, I mean a little all-purpose seasoning, or you don't, you just want to use pepper, your preference, so that's how, I'm, I'm using both of them, so you know, <laughs> so that's how we're going to do it, you'll see the end results. Um. Alright y'all, we're going to do that spinach, you have it sauteed, that spinach in there, mmm, yeah, the bags, you can use bag spinach, you can use the bunch of spinach. I couldn't find a bunch, so if you use the bag. Mm -hmm. You gotta put a lot of it in there because I know when it simmers down, it's gonna be like a small amount if you don't put a lot of it in there. So, so let that cook down. You'll see the end results. See the spinach? It wilted down, but you know it got all sauteed and look at it. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm telling you. You know, when you put, you can put a lot of spinach in there, but it still, when it goes down, it looks like this. So I'm good with this right here. <laughs> Ooh, you see them? Look at that flavor in there. Mmm. When you put that, the bacon bits in there, get that juice and soak it up. Mmm. Yeah, just me and Christy, my wife, just eating this, so let's do this. All right, it's finished, the finished product. Looks delicious. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you again in KJ's Kitchen 504. Love y'all. Peace out.